Hello friends, welcome to Pap Studio. This is Bhubal and today we're going to talk about how to indicate a Stripe, Pam and Gateway with the Jetpack Compose using Firebase Database and Firebase Functions. Uh, my use case is I have a few product, I just want to sell it online. So when I started working on this, I do refer a lot of Stripe documentations. Actually, whenever we search for a Stripe Android SDK uh, integration, it's all, always uh, you, you may be come across this page. I just land on this page. I just followed all the steps available here at the end of the day uh, uh, When I try to uh, run the application then I found a crash <laughs> Why because this specific payment sheet can be invoked only on top of the app compact activity Whereas I'm using the pure jetpack compose uh, project that was built on top of using the component activities uh, so component activities is completely different from the uh, app compact activity so this payment sheet cannot be invoked over there so my four days works are gone i just dropped this plan and then i referred another github or uh, github link uh, that's nothing but the firebase mobile payment gateway so this links is works really well so i recommended you to just follow this link but we need but you need to understand there are some minor tweak you're supposed to do in order to uh, uh, in order to make it work for jetpack compose so in my project i have a dependency of these four like a firebase database in order to store my payment informations and customer details i'm planning to go for a firebase uh, database uh, and then uh, firebase functions so, so firebase function is available only on the blazer plan so you just have to upgrade your plan like basic plan to blaze plan as per the stripe documentation they uh, recommended us to use uh, server side mechanism to in order to process a payment gateway and the next one is the stripe i obviously you need to have the creator stripe account and then if you go to the developer where you can see able to save the publishable key that key is supposed to use for the integration the stripe and of course so for android ui i just want to use the uh, jetpack compose so having all this you can refer this video this video they explained it really well um, that's a recommendation for you. I just walk you through about exactly they are doing. They just creating the Firebase project, and then we, we just go in the place plan uh, in the Firebase project. Then we are enabling the authentication provider. So actually, I did it only for my authentication. I just enabled two authentication. Uh, one is an email, another one is a phone, and create a cloud database as well. Uh, I'm using the cloud Firestore. The rule should be this one. Like uh, I have a user uh, address cart order information so these functions are expecting these two rules okay so you just have to set in these rules in order to uh, work with these functions and the first step is just download this github and then just install the firebase uh, cli and all once it's completed just uh, use this first command firebase login so it will ask you to log in with the firebase uh, credentials once everything is done then it says that i'm logged in with this specific email and then navigate to this uh, firebase mobile payment or dot iphone this is nothing but the downloaded one and then go inside then go ahead and do firebase use add and uh, in then it will display the list of projects available in the firebase then choose your project which is nothing but a pi store 91e551 that's of my project name then go inside the cd functions which is nothing but this function folders uh, this function folder then i'm saying that npm installs so that it will install the required uh, dependencies once everything is done I'm just going here and saying this Firebase functions config and set the size type secret keys. So you can uh, get this secret key from your dashboard. If you go here and you can see the secret key area, just copy it and paste it here. Here you are setting the global configuration for Firebase functions. And then finally you say that Firebase deploy. It will deploy all the available functions here. Once it's completed, you could see those functions are uh, coming under here this is the functions url you can you can uh, directly call this function from the outside as well next one is we need to configure the web events in order to track the payments here so to do that just go to the developer and say web books and we already deployed one functions here right so just copy this uh, function name and uh, put it here uh, and then configure a few of the listeners you can configure those listeners uh, I configured these four as per the documentation and just say submitted 
and then you just have to get this secret key once you get that secret key again you just have to come here and update that uh, configuration here firebase function config set i say type webhooks then i just give that secret key here and once everything's done i'm this time i'm just uh, executing this command like uh, firebase deploy only function and saying that handle uh, webhook events now it's a uh, time to step into the android so once I go here, you could see that I added few items into the cart. And uh, one is done, I'm going into the cart and I'm just clicking the checkout. And this is something is a payment method. So before you're processing the payment or to before you're creating the payment intent, you just need to know what is the payment method is, okay? So to get to know the payment method, I'm just clicking it here and then it's invoking the uh, Stripe UI at this moment okay the moment i choose any other card uh, that result will be received here that's 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 why i'm just putting it something like on activity result so here i'm just uh, listening for the events i'm just putting it back to the handle payment gateway stripe Util is my custom class it's internally as uh, the payment sessions so i just have to initialize this payment session this code is already copied from there only and then i just added the callback method i'm just initializing it here and with the callback methods these are the callback methods and then you know this is where i'm just presenting that uh, a specific dialogue whatever you are seeing it here so the moment i say payment session dot percent payment method selections then this page will be getting displayed and the moment the user clicks one of this then the activity on activity result will be called uh, uh, here in the main activity so when I call this handle payment data then this callback will be get fired and again it gonna call one of one of this callback methods probably when I choose change the card the, the this specific line number 52 will be get fired and here I can get the payment method and I'm just updating my local uh, reference like a um, mutable state flow so this method has been exposed outside uh, for the cart to display this information here so now the cart has to listen this information and the moment uh, user clicks on review order uh, it's calling this create a payment intent at internally calls on uh, stipe utils uh, create payment intent here uh, if you look at it i'm creating the reference of this payment uh, this payment collections up to here type and up to this I'm creating the reference of it and then I'm trying to add amount and currency these two parameters as a payment collections the moment I add these two parameters what happen is is internally trigger this a uh, creates type payment uh, uh, a payment functions so this function is you know right uh, it's a document is a uh, looking for this document and on create method so whenever somebody is trying to create this one so internally it gets this amount and the currencies and first it's create the customer key and the apparel key and then it's calling the payment infant with the amount currency customer key and apparel key and once everything is done it gives the uh, secret key uh, back to the caller uh, is assigned this spam and temporal key as the secret key and assign it back to us so this is what happening so uh, here i'm listening for uh, add on success listener i'm listening for the change and i'm taking that snapshot if i'm seeking the snapshot is exist or not uh, if uh, snapshot data is exist then i'm just taking this client secret out of it so client secret is something uh, they put it here right so that information i uh, getting it here then i'm passing it to the uh, passing it to the ui to uh, move further so then i'll be landed with this this screen where i have the uh, uh, summary of everything so when when user land on to the payment screen i'm creating the create payment launcher this is something new for uh, jetpack compose so i'm just taking this title and i'm saying the payment launcher dot create compose where I'm just uh, giving the publish APIs and then I'm just looking for the result or if result is success then I'm just updating with the success if result is cancelled I'm just updating it and result is failed I'm updating it accordingly so this launch is ready to launch and I have a reference here 
uh, in the payment screen initially and then the moment user press pay button uh, from here then it will call this function like create and confirm a payment intent so I'm having already set it up the payment launcher there I'm just passing the payment launcher here if you look at it it's internally uh, go and check uh, the client secret key and payment ID if both are not our not null I'm just uh, launching that launcher in Jetpack Compose you know right if first you have to create a launcher so I'm launching the launcher by using the payment launcher dot confirm confirm payment intent params dot create with the payment method id params um, pa passing these two parameter one as a payment method id and another one as a client secret key that's it so it automatically uh, uh, go and uh, uh, perform this payment activities i can i can uh, i can show it to you so the moment i click on it it's trying to launch that launcher if everything is fine i'm going into this page then you could see the same things will be affected here uh, or in the that entry will be available here and the rest of the information are filled by the specific functions and even if you go and refresh here the payment you know you, you can see the amount is getting reflected here the recent transaction is happened under 2.50 uh, am and uh, this is the amount and uh, once you click on it uh, you could see all those informations and especially the one you're supposed to look at is like uh, web books so this is a web books uh, saying that uh, it's updated uh, it's called for payment intent dot succeed and it's updated uh, uh, actually it's called the firebase functions and firebase functions gives a, a successful response back to uh, this specific activity otherwise thank you so much for watching the video jb Thank you.